All right, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create this date picker and as well as the date picker, we're also gonna create a time picker. So you can just use both of those. It's actually very simple to implement and I wish I knew this a long time ago, but let's get started immediately by going to our layout and type, tapping on activity main XML. Here you can just copy and paste what I did, but I'll just explain very briefly. I created a relative layout and I added a button and this button I just named button underscore time picker. Then I added a text view, which went directly under the button and I gave it an ID of TV underscore text time. And that's essentially it. I just gave it a uh, sample text to show. But the first thing you want to do on your main activity file is uh, extend date picker dialog dot on date set listener and the same thing for time picker and implement those methods by right clicking on class main activity. And then immediately after that, we are going to create a whole lot of uh, variables, which is going to be for the day, month, year, hour, and finally minutes. And immediately after that, we are going to copy and paste our initial set of variables and we are going to change the names on all of them. I just named them saved day, same saved month, saved year, and so on. And essentially these are going to be used to post the updated information to the text view. And as you could see there, I used command shift plus eight as a special shortcut. And after that, we're just going to create a method called pick date and a private function, which is going to be right under there. And it's going to be called get date time calendar. This is going to get an instance of our calendar and then immediately assign the values to our uh, variables that we just created earlier. And this is just to make sure that the information on our calendar is uh, up to date. And next we will implement our pick date function and we are going to write button underscore time picker, set an on-click listener for that and we are going to type date picker dialog with the context of this, this and then we're going to write year, month, day and put a dot show on it. And that's gonna open our date picker dialog. And here we will implement the function or ex the code that is gonna be used for our date picker dialog. So we're gonna write save day equals save month, save month equals month, and save year equals year. So it will assign those values to our uh, saved years and months. Then we're gonna get get time calendar to update the time on the calendar. We're gonna do the same thing for the time picker dialog. As you can see down there, it's almost essentially exactly the same as creating a date picker dialog. But after that, we just need to update the tv.text time, text view, and just add all the values that we picked because these over overridden functions update the values for us and it's very simple. And uh, yeah, mostly I would just say copy what you see here since it's very self-explanatory. But otherwise, that's all there is to creating a date picker or a time picker. If you have any other questions regarding this, just leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, go on Stack Overflow or check on Google first. But uh, to do exactly what you see on the screen here, that's all you need. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another tutorial.